Hi, this is Miriam Cotellis, and this video describes my process for two paintings that I did this summer. Um, it combines a couple of my interests, which are having to do with nature and uh, running and forms and texture. Um, so let's go. So I started seriously running when I was 39 and soon I discovered trail running. And trail running is just running somewhere where there's a lot more nature and the ground is usually either dirt or rocks. I started taking pictures of some of the interesting things I saw out there. And no matter what day you go, there's new things to see. There's lots of really interesting shapes and patterns and different sounds like water or rain or leaves rustling or birds. I started to share my pictures, but then I realized I would I wanted to also create something that represented all these different exciting new experiences I was having out there in the forest. So I decided to work on a series and this video shows the first two paintings of that series and the process that I used to make them. So I did make this video for my students and so the rest of this video is going to be geared as if I'm talking to them. Hi guys, it's Miss Catellas. So we are here in my house and I'm, I'm going to do an art adventure and we're going to start with making a paper mache mask and sometimes I have an idea and then I go and get the materials. In this case I had a, a specific material and then an idea happened from that material. So a couple of parents at my school had used this for a specific um, event and they no longer needed it. They were going to throw it away. And I realized it would make a really good mold for a mask. So the beginning is going to be a little messy. Are you starting? Okay, the beginning is going to be a little messy. You are going to, um, you can either use um, a, like a painter's brush to apply glue onto the mask. And we are going to be putting um, glue and um, just wetting. It's, it's kind of a messy experience. So you're just going to be completely covering this face with glue and newspaper. Okay. So here what we're doing is we're using glue and um, strips of newspaper to create the shape of the mask. And when it dries, it will maintain that shape of the form, which then we will use. So here are the two masks. I actually had two molds and they are set out to dry and it's going to take maybe an entire day for the four or five layers of paper that i put on top to dry so we're going to wait for them to dry so moving on my canvas has dried and then i went for a search for um roots and branches so i have some branches and i also collected some roots and the way you get nice clean roots is you beat the uh, plant against something um, really strong and all the dirt comes off. And so now I have these great root systems and I have hot glue gun them and glued them on. I am using Mod Podge as my glue because Mod Podge when it dries um, and then at some point if it by accident it gets wet again, it does not become liquid it stays plastic so it's very important to use the correct materials anyway so keep going so here i have used um the branches that i've glued on i've painted them black 
And then I went in with different colors and I wanted the leaves to not just be one green, but different greens. And then I wanted to put lots of other different colors. So I started adding some yellows and reds and whites um, to it. So here's my palette. I'm not done yet, but for now I'm taking a break. I find that egg cartons make the best palette. As you can see, I have used every single space in here. This is my first painting and I'm actually really happy with it. I love all the different interesting shapes and colors and I absolutely love how peaceful she looks. So here I'm working on a new painting and this one is going to use the face and turn it into like a mountain and I'm making a tree on top with all the roots coming down and I am coming up with ideas as I work. So for right now that's what I'm thinking of. We'll see where we go with it. So it's going to be a landscape and the mountain is this face right here and the neck and the shoulder. Um, and I built up some trees with uh, toilet paper and glue. And then I put some rocks down and I made the ones that are closer to me a little larger. And then I put one layer of TP for the sky to give it a little bit of texture, but not too much. Um, what needs to be done now is for it to be drying and I'm going to be building up the hair part right here because it's still pretty thinned out and I really want it to be fuller and kind of wilder. And then I'm going to build up some hair down here um, and then let it dry over a day and then I'm going to start painting. And my idea for painting is starting to paint the background first. So I'm going to be painting the entire frame. I mean the entire frame one color actually two colors maybe like the face and shoulder will be brown and then the sky the main sky color will go in and then I will give it some more nuance with different colors later but um, definitely painting backwards forward and all of the webbing in the trees the roots are gonna all be last so so I decided to use hot glue to give the roots more texture. Um, so these are gonna be a little thicker and then these are really thin and it thins out. And then um, it's hard to see the webbing right now. I also am going to be building up the hair even more over time. So here I'm using color to build form and also using some of my background colors first. As you can see, I'm putting in the sky and the deeper greens in the mountains. Here, I want my root system in the dark parts of the face to show up, so I'm using a little bit of a dark, lighter brown. And um, I do work very heavily with contrast. I would say detailing is the most fun part of painting, but it's also a lot of negotiation, a lot of trying to make decisions constantly. There's a lot of decision making here. I turn the canvas around to get to the other side of the painting. And at this point also, a lot of the use of color is very symbolic.
So here is my second painting, and I'm actually really excited about it. And I'm already thinking ideas for my next one. Thank you so much for watching my video. And my hope is that in watching my process and my thinking behind the work, that you too will notice that you have things that you too are interested in doing and that art can be a great way to process um, that obsession and also realize that we all are artists um, and I, I seriously mean that from the bottom of my heart that all of us have ideas that are worth expressing creatively and in doing so, we understand our ideas um, in a deeper way. So there you go. Um, I hope you also um, follow that little interest thread and find something amazing to do this summer. And there's thunder going on right now. And my parrot is trying to talk over me. So see you guys.